the geniculate ganglion geniculum in latin means knee and at the knee of the facial nerve where it bends acutely backwards is an l shaped collection of fibers and sensory neurons this is located in the facial canal of the head and the geniculate ganglion is the sensory ganglion of the facial nerve on the geniculum of the nerve the geniculate ganglion receives fibers from the motor sensory and parasympathetic components of the facial nerve it sends fibers that will innervate the lacrimal glands the submandibular glands the sublingual glands tongue palate pharynx external artery canal stapedius posterior belly of the digastric stylohyoid muscle and muscles of facial expression the geniculate ganglion contains special sensory neuronal cells for taste from fibers coming up from the tongue through the cauda tympani and from fibers coming up from the roof of the palate through the greater petrosal nerve sensory and parasympathetic inputs are carried into the geniculate ganglion via the nervous intermedius motor fibers are carried via the facial nerve proper the greater petrosal nerve which carries sensory fibers as well as preganglionic parasympathetic fibers emerges from the anterior aspect of the ganglion the genital ganglion is one of the several ganglia of the head and neck and like the others it is bilaterally distributed structure with each side of the face having a genital ganglion this here in is a picture showing the plan of the facial and intermediate nerves and their communication with the other nerves and at the knee of the facial nerve we find the expansion called the genital ganglion and from its anterior surface we find the larger superficial petrosal the external superficial petrosal and the small superficial petrosal nerves arising what do we mean by geniculate neuralgia this is also called nervous intermediate neuralgia geniculate ganglionitis or geniculate neuralgia is a rare disorder that involves severe pain deep in the ear and that may spread to the ear canal outer canal mastoid or ear regions geniculate neuralgia may also occur in combination with trigeminal or glossopharyngeal neuralgia the pain of the geniculate neuralgia is sharp shooting or burning and can last for hours painful attacks can be triggered by cold noise swallowing or touch but triggers are usually unique to the sufferer other related symptoms that may be experienced include increased salivation bitter taste tinnitus and vertigo this disorder usually occurs in young to middle aged adults and more commonly in women geniculate neuralgia may be caused by compression of the somatic sensory branch of the cranial nerve 7 which goes through the nervous intermedius in sufferers of geniculate neuralgia signals sent along these nerves are altered and interpreted by the geniculate ganglion a structure in the brain and as geniculate neuralgic pain geniculate neuralgia may also develop following herpes zoster where cold sores occur on the ear drum or in the ear canal this may also be associated with facial paresis tinnitus vertigo and deafness here we see a scheme of distribution of the genital ganglion and this shows the knee of the genital ganglion with the petrosal nerves and arising from the anterior surface the genital ganglion communicates number 1 with the sphenopalatine ganglion by the greater superficial petrosal nerve number 2 with the otic ganglion by a branch which joins the lesser superficial petrosal nerve and it communicates with the sympathetic on the middle meningeal artery